God says, it is great to know what I desire from each person, but it is necessary to live the way I desire for each person. I don't just want you to know that living away from sin is good and it's what I desire, but I want you to actually live that way. It is easier said than done, but if you commit your life to me every day, it can be done. I love you. Dear God, thank you for today, thank you for the air that I breathe, the food that I eat, and the shelter over my head. Lord, I pray that you will please watch over me and my loved ones today. Please give us wisdom so we can know how to handle every situation. Thank you for your unending love. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you have seven seconds to thank God. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing the morning light and hope into my life on this new day. The pressures of life leave me feeling weary, and as a parent, I yearn to spend more time with my children, yet time always seems insufficient. In the midst of these busy days, I long to draw closer to you, seeking comfort and guidance in your presence. Help me to learn to dedicate every moment to you, even amidst the busyness, so that I may deepen my relationship with you. If you also desire to draw closer to God, comment and share. May God bless you. Amen. God, today I'm facing what feels like more than I can handle. Will you be my strength? I need you to hold me up, sustain me, and comfort me in life's storms. Thank you that you are always faithful and always working for my good. Even when I don't understand, help me to put my trust in you. Today by faith, I cast all my cares on you because I know you care for me. My prayer. If God is worthy of your praise, declare Amen. Dear Lord, your word says you are in our midst, and you are the mighty one who saves. You rejoice over us with gladness, you quiet us with your love and rejoice over us with singing. Help us picture you doing that tonight. Please quiet our restless thoughts. Please let us hear your song you serenade us, with an your still small voice that speaks to us and comforts us. Thank you for your unconditional love and your peace that the world can't give or take away. Thank you for your watchful eye that is on us and your ear that is listening for us. We are grateful for all you do and all you are. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armor of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, Hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet, and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Ephesians 6 verses 14 to 17 God's plan is always the best, even if the process is painful. Believe that God's plan is the perfect one, even when it's tough or hurts. Sometimes, the journey might be painful, but it's a necessary part of his greater design. Have faith that God knows what's best for you, and the challenges are there for a reason. In the end, his wisdom will lead you to a brighter and better outcome. God is saying to you today, you are not alone. No matter what trials you face or what problems you face, I will be there for you. I haven't helped you up until this point in your life, just to let you down. I have not helped you up to this point, 
just to leave you. I am there. If it seems that I am silent, know that I am working on your behalf. Amen. Three things to do every day. Number one, accept God's goodness. Get up every day looking for God's favor. Number two, recognize God's goodness. There are no coincidences, no lucky breaks. It's all the goodness of God. And number three, always thank God for his goodness. Anytime something good happens, big or little, give God the glory. Lord, thank you for that parking spot. Lord, thank you for that idea. Lord, thank you for sending me Jew in my desert. If you do this, I believe that his blessings are going to come after you. I have set the Lord always before me, because he is in my right hand I shall not be moved. Therefore my heart is glad, and my glory rejoices, my flesh also will rest in hope. Psalms 16 verses 8 to 9. No longer will there be a curse upon anything. For the throne of God and of the Lamb will be there, and his servants will worship him. And they will see his face, and his name will be written on their foreheads. And there will be no night there no need for lamps or sun for the Lord God will shine on them. And they will reign forever and ever. Revelation 22 verses 3 to 5. What is breaking you is also building you. Someday, you'll realize that every struggle you're going through is being used to build you up. In God, no pain is ever wasted. In Him, everything has a purpose. In the breaking, trust Him even more. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1 verse 9 Once you let go and decide you want a good life, God will start moving things to make it happen. The people you need will appear, the healing you need will happen, and the door you need will open. Once you truly, sincerely decide you are worthy, miracles will flood in. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known to God. Philippians 4 verse 6 God doesn't always give you the people you want because he knows the ones you truly need. The people you desire may not always be the best for your well-being and growth. God, in his wisdom, brings individuals into your life who will help you learn, evolve, and find fulfillment. Trust that his choices are made with your best interests in mind. God requires deep waters because deep waters are mandatory for diving and diving means you're going all in. You cannot dive into shallow waters. When God asks you to dive by faith, you will always be called to deep waters first. God blesses those who are poor and realize their need for him, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Matthew 5 verse 3 Deuteronomy 32 verse 39 See now that I myself am he. There is no God besides me. I put to death and I bring to life, I have wounded and I will heal, and no one can deliver out of my hand. Amen. You are loved by God because he created you and thinks you're special. His love is like a constant, caring presence in your life. God sees the good in you, and his love is unwavering, no matter what. Always remember, you are important to God, and he loves you just as you are. 
2 Corinthians 1 verse 10 From such terrible dangers of death he saved us, and will save us, and we have placed our hope in him that he will save us again. Amen, Tilda, if you believe it. You can't go back to the beginning but you can start where you are and change the ending. Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19 See what great love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. And that is what we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. 1 John 3 verse 1 Romans 8 verse 29 I knew everything you would do before you were born, and still called you I'm not finished with you and you will not be abandoned. Amen. God, thank you for being my shepherd. I know with you, I lack nothing. I'm grateful I can trust you with my worries, and I can be at peace knowing you are in control. Thank you for guiding me through each day of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hebrews 11 verse 6 No one can please God without faith, for whoever comes to God must have faith that God exists and rewards those who seek Him. Amen, Tilda, if you believe it. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 18 verse 21 But as for me, I will always proclaim what God has done. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. Psalms 75 verse 9